go through some examples that aren't opposite rays and then we'll talk about what opposite rays are. So let's jump right into this video. Letter A here, you can see a ray is basically like a ray of sunshine. It starts at the sun, okay, for example, and it goes outward just in one direction. So you can see here ray AB, it's starting at point A. This is called the end point, but in reality you can think of it as the starting point. Okay, but it's called the endpoint and it goes towards B and it keeps going this direction. So we have it written as ray AB and here we have ray CD. Now notice when you write the ray, you always draw the arrow going to the right. Okay, and you can see it's starting at point C, which is right here, heading towards a D and it keeps going in that direction. Okay, but when you look at these rays, these are technically not opposite rays. Okay, and the reason they're not opposite rays is because to be opposite rays, you have to start at the same endpoint and go 180 degrees opposite. So for letter B here, you might think, okay, what about these? Are these opposite rays? Well, let's see, you've got CB, okay, so that's going like this, and AB, that's going like this, but you can see they're, they're overlapping, similar to these two rays, but they're just on the same line. So again, these are not opposite rays. Letter C, you can see here's ray AB and here's ray AC. Notice they both have that same starting point, again, which is called the end point, but they're not going at 180 degrees opposite to one another. So these are also not opposite rays. And in letter D, let me show you exactly what opposite rays are. So say, for example, you're starting here and you're going this direction, and then you're starting here and you're going this direction. Let's just label this X, Y, and Z. So ray Y, Z, okay, and ray Y, X, okay, like that these are opposite rays. Now again, notice how the arrows are always going to the right when you write the ray, but you can see they're both starting at Y, okay, and then this one's going towards Z, and this one's going towards X. What I usually tell students when I'm tutoring them is that, just think about, you know, you and your friend, you're talking, and then your friend has to go to class that direction, and you have to go to class the other direction, but you're at that same starting point, and you had opposite ways, 180 degrees. So I hope this helped you understand what opposite rays are a little bit better. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other math videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.